because I just I love Mark. He's a dear friend. And I would do anything to help him to help find a cure for diabetes. This will be the fourth year for Mark's annual benefit. Each year, country music artists, NASCAR drivers, and film and television stars mix it up on and off the track for two days of music, entertainment, and racing. Every year, this event gets bigger and better. We're going to go in a circle. It's going to be a lot of fun. This year, Mark has invited a very special guest. Yeah, it's a big deal. Of course it is. Be out on the track with Paul Newman. And for the first time ever, race night will feature a special all-women's event. The best part about being in the race car is getting to go really fast, because I like to go fast. We all showed up for Mark, and a very good cause. Every time I turn around, it's another special moment. Mark always kicks off the event with a star-studded night of country music and a celebrity auction. It's all in an effort to raise awareness and dollars for research to find a cure for diabetes. We're with the man who is the reason why we're here. That is Mark Colley. And this thing is getting bigger and bigger every year. Is it surprising you? It surprises me. It amazes me. I just can't believe people still come and do this, but we're having a ball doing it. Are you having a good time out there racing tonight? Ball. Having a great time. And I'm a little distracted right now because Harry Gant and Paul Newman are mixing it up out here. And I got to see some of this. I will. Actually, it's, it's Sterling and Kyle and all those guys. So I'm going to see how they look in these cars. to believe you know he's always got an extra pack of cigarettes rolled up in his t-shirt sleeve he got a tattoo on his arm it's a baby he got another one to just say hey but if a sunday afternoon he is a dirt track demon in a 57 chevrolet Happy boy, that's boy, now he's the best driver in the land he said that he learned to run a stock car run his shine out of alabama From a man in Oklahoma City with a 500 gallon tank. Ow! Yeah, happy Roy, that stock car boy, now he too much to believe. You know, he's always got an extra pack of cigarettes rolled up in his t shirt sleeve. He got a tattoo on his arm as a playback. He got another one. Just says, hey, but it was Sunday afternoon. He is a dirt track demon in a 57 Chevrolet. celebrity drivers. The first four finishers in each heat will qualify for tonight's main event. Starting on the front row on the pole, David Lee Murphy. Of course, Mark Colley, last year, 1996 event, he picked up the win in his heat race, coming right out of turn four at that white line, and they get the green flag. David Lee Murphy rockets to the top of the charts. Mark Colley in number one in hot pursuit. And what happened to Murphy? Look out. Oh, boy. 
he collects the 21 car of John Brennan on a back straightaway. Looks like damage to the left rear of the David Lee Murphy car, the right rear of John Brennan's machine. And we're back under green. Big battle for the lead, back straightaway, laps running out. It'll be two laps to go. Collie draws a bead on Gunnar Nelson. They are one car length apart. Nelson stretches it out in the front straightaway with two to go. White flag for Nelson's into turn one and closes in. But again, Nelson on the gas, pulls away Collie one more time. Fourth corner, final lap, checkered flag. Give it to Nelson. Mark Collie looked like he was pushing like a bulldozer coming out of turn four. Picks up the second spot. Off, I can tell, right? Well, it's just a little bit of an adrenaline rush, yes. Just a little bit. Well, congrats. Look, I've got an actual black for you. The Heat Race winner. Yes. He ran a good race. He did good. Yeah, he did. But you should have used the same tire compound that Ronnie Dunn and Kicks does, right? Yeah, I got to use some of that sticky stuff on the next <laughs> race. Yeah. Well, this is kind of nice. This is one of the trailers where they keep the Legends cars. A hot dollar trailer here. So <laughs>